That reload speed's terrible. Where are you? Oh crap, you're down below. Can you get up? Ooh, I'm not gonna be able to get to you. Can you get up? Sorry. Remember, you can move around when you're in down, but not out in this game. No, but you can move around. I think later, actually, your character can. It's one of the perks you'll get when you level up. Love that they added that. You move super quick in Borderlands 3. You need help getting up here? What do you say, Tucker? You have to level up. Get it. It's a perk. You're down. You you went down. The game has to punish you a little bit. It's your special skills. It's unfair that the Mechromancer gets a robot. It's unfair that I get to dual wield. It's unfair that Maya gets to phase lock people. It's just you. That's what's special about you. Yeah. You just did the same and changed the game. True. If only you could actually fight where you were. I wish you got a pistol, like Call of Duty style. Like, crawl around like a pilot that's injured. Time for three pounds of flesh. I can't wait till we see Goliath. Welcome to die. Welcome to kill. My audio god. Welcome to die. Man, I just can't get it right. I had that voice now. Once I hear him, once I hear him, it'll come clear. You got your turret, Tucker. Sweet. Get the controls, Tucker. Tucker's being whiny. He's got like two weeks left in his summer break and he's choosing to be miserable. Tucker, embrace the summer break. Make the most of it. Have fun. What's that? Huh? Oh, follow me. Sweet. Welcome to Gaia. I just keep getting worse and worse and worse. I'm trying to get a shotgun here. What level are you? Oh, yeah. Put on this uh, Hyperion shotgun. There, take that one. That's the best one. It has got, it's got more damage to it. And here's the controls. I'm going to keep practicing until we get it right. Welcome to die. It says it like... You know, like, he has, like, maybe a brain cell. Like, he basically is an insect. Welcome to die. Yeah, it's still not happening now. Yeah, I'll work on it later. That's why they pay professionals. Love gauge. Two shotguns with grenade reload. Hell yeah. Bomb, bomb, swap. Boom. <laughs> Rikers is feeling it. Rikers a true Borderlands fan. I'm hoping you're going to get a lot, of, a lot of good times out of Borderlands 3, Rikers. You need to beat this at least once before 3's out, dude. Alright, Tucker. Tucker's gonna have a beat at least once before Borderlands 3. It's what we're working on. It's gonna be worth it. Dude, man, I do. Do it! I would totally watch that playthrough. I would look forward to that playthrough. I would watch in eager expectation. Look how fat he is. <clears throat> we're gonna mess this guy up. 100%. 100%.
It's going to be over for him. Oh, sphincters. Who says that? There we go. Anthony Birch is starting to bleed through already. It started early with Mr. Birch today. <laughs> Birch day. Garbage day! Working on it. I don't know, Tuck. I might go down too. You died in such a terrible position. Like, Flint is literally on top of you. I keep trying. We moved up so quick. Tucker, I need you now. Damn. Well, if this had been a one life run, that was rip. How fast that'd be though? Just do the main quest. It's still a long game. I don't know, a week? You could probably do it in a week if you just do main quest. Just once. Just do one playthrough. need you more than ever. Oh, crap. Hold on, I'm gonna use my gun, sir. To, here, kill this guy. He's really low. There's burning psycho. I'll try to bring him to you. See where I am? Right there, limping along. Kill that guy. Shoot him, Tucker. Kill the captain. I mean, he has to be a little tough later on, he, considering he's in the same family as a dignified vault hunter. Oh, here he goes. Avoid the vents. Grenade the crap out of him. I don't know why my OBS is sucking today. Sorry, guys. I need help, Tuck. Oh wait, no, I can do it. Hey, level it up, congrats. <laughs> He's running around screaming bloody panic, afraid for his very life, and he says very calmly, Let me know when you're done with that job! Should be some loot in here. Yeah, he's got his own ship. Claptrap is smart, man. Do the honor, Stuck. Right here. Yes, we're here. Take us to your ship. Take us to your leader. There she is. Me this thing looks terrible. This definitely looks like a texture flip. I think this leader becomes a battleborn hero. Known as Montana, they just stuck a tiny head on him. That'd be cool. Borderlands 3 it would be. Borderlands 2, we're still talking straight up regular old ships. Chapter 4 already. Look at us, Tucker. We're almost a sanctuary, buddy. We're almost a sanctuary. Yeah. Hey, travel. Watch out. Press X on that thing. There we go. Sanctuary we go. That's what it's worth doing. It's worth just pushing the sanctuary, then we can go and do some cleanup. Then we can do some cleanup.
pretty crazy that Ninja went over to Mixer. Seems like it almost came out of the blue. It's really a pretty game, though. Alright, so Corboris, this is what's left of the Crimson Lance. The Crimson Lance has apparently pretty much collapsed. They probably gave him 10. Oh, dude, at least. At least, Strikers. It's pretty much collapsed come the time of Borderlands 3 from the looks of it. You heal, and you regenerate ammo, and you get to dual wield. Gunzerking has no weaknesses. He's not my kind of content. Yeah, I don't blame you for that, but <clears throat> it's kind of weird, like... Mixer is growing, but it still doesn't hold a candle to twitch its size. I just... Interesting times. Interesting times. They're talking about... They think what's going to happen is that Halo, like what Nintendo does with their streaming, like you can only stream it on certain platforms. The rumor is that Microsoft is going to make Halo a uh, Mixer exclusive. You can't stream it on any other platform. And Ninja will be like the guy for Halo Infinity. I'm guessing Halo Infinity is going to have a BR and stuff. It's, uh, I don't know. That's the only, it, it seems too crazy, but at the same time, that's the only way I would see like him switching over like he's done out of the blue. They've already unverified him too. They took away his check mark because, you know, you're not allowed to stream on other plat platforms once you get affiliated or partnered. He straight up took away his purple check mark. But I'm reading an inactive Hyperion body in the bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catcher ride, I we gotta go in here, Tuck. And get your car. Can't stream in another platform, how does that make sense? Right, that doesn't make any sense at all. But that's how it's worked with Nintendo. I don't know if Microsoft's gonna go all the way and do that, but I think it could be a possibility, as stupid as it is. Let's shop Tuck. Hit him, hit him, kill him. That was bad. <clears throat> I didn't play that well. Gonna get up. Throw your turret out, Tucker. Get behind this wall and get your turret out. There you go. Get some grenades out, too. Nice. <laughs> Shit enrages me so hard. Part of the reason I don't buy Nintendo products is that streaming video content bullshit. What is it? You can stream it on Twitch though, it's just you can't stream it on YouTube. Is that right? Good. Hey, it's a white, but I'm gonna try it. So I just wanna change it up. Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride, and I'll get you a free car. Catch a ride! So Borderlands has got a thing that whenever you're low on amp, the, the chests have weighted RNG to them. It's not just completely random. It's, it, it looks at whatever you need at the time, health or ammo, and it gives you that. Which becomes a feature in Destiny 2 that we used to take advantage of uh, for spawning heavy ammo. But uh, you can manipulate, later on when it, the game gets really hard, you got to kind of manipulate how the chest works so that you can make sure you get your ammo. Totally turned me off. I plan to switch over before I went to creative. Really? You were going to, you do YouTube streaming? Did the co-op couple and just Final Fantasy cool. playing through all the... Try requesting another car. I found out that and I wouldn't be able to use unless my content was exclusively Nintendo. I found out that I wouldn't be able to do YouTube videos unless my content was exclusive Nintendo. Really? So like you can't do a Zelda Let's Play if you've also done a Red Dead Redemption Let's Play? Yo Freak Show! What up man? Oh we should've rode together. Oh okay. We got a great big convoy riding through the night. Okay. Sorry. 
so unburdened things like intelligence, culture, morality, honor. And what will they do? Just copyright claim it? Is that it? You still get to, you just can't make money on it? Can you still have the stuff uploaded? Because, like, my YouTube isn't monetized. I mean, someday I will monetize it when I can, but. <clears throat> As of right now, I just do it for the sake of having the content. So. That, you know, that wouldn't really drive me crazy. Personally, as long as I can still do the, the uploads. But I think you're right, by the way. I'm just talking about me personally. Kill him, Doc. We weren't allowed guides or gameplay footage. Could you still have it up and not make money off it, though? <laughs> it does appear that way. That I'm not sure. I'd be curious to know that. Kill them Rex then, Tuck. Oh, cancel. <laughs> this map is so much bigger than Borderlands 1. This map is so much bigger than Borderlands 1. They really stepped it up. I always miss one, and they, uh... Those <laughs> Rex. Yeah, they're basically freaking cliff racers. So annoying. Alright, we're heading to town, Tucker. What? It's like I murder this guy. Right in front of us. Trying to get into Sanctuary. So you can tell things were rough for Sanctuary. The bandits are literally camped right outside of town. Oh crap! Okay, it looks like we got a fight. I kind of forget how to get out. I think it's B. Tucker, you might want to get out, it's gonna blow up! Nope, not anymore. Not anymore. What the hell was that? Is that the car blowing up? Oh. Okay. What was the big noise afterwards? It sounded like a metal. Oh, okay, it sounded like a Tyrex. Like a Tyrannosaurus Rex made of metal crunching down on a massive thing of junk. Hold up. You're a vault hunter. Just a sec. Roland wanted to talk to you. Let me echo it. Oh. You're the one I've been hearing all this radio chatting about. Name's Roland. I used to be a ball hunter. Like Roland! Enjoy your time with Roland while it lasts. Spoiler warning, now, ten years later. My men tell me I'll be right back in the car. I'm just gonna open this gate. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary. <laughs> no! Crap. Have you ever experienced that yet, Rikers? Or were you already aware? I hope of that. But that's a thing. I did. Okay, good. I uh, didn't actually want to spoil it for you. Oh, this. Okay, this quote coming up. Uh, for those in the know, this is where the name comes from, man. There was only one other viewer ever who caught on to the fact that our name here on Twitch is in reference to this character coming up. What? Because I figured you would like that better, since you like explosions. <laughs> I made it two or three areas past the floating sanctuary stuff. You were getting pretty deep into it then, Rikers. You should have just went in and finished it out. You should just take that playthrough and finish it out. It won't, that won't take you long at all.
Cover me. Cover me. I can't remember anything in this game. Just shoot the stuff. Just shoot the things. 20,000 people. The five areas I did with 20,000 people. There's tons of bully mugs here. I actually like this, guys. Some people would say that's way over the top, but I like it. You can teleport to your vehicle. Yeah, bully mugs are like everywhere. How's the car holding up? So it's still got decent. Gonna lose him in the Morrow Fields. He did something. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. My OBS is terrible today. Sorry about that. All right, Tuck, so we gotta go in, bud. They drop any loot? So there should be a guy over here, Tucker. I'm pretty sure he spawns without doing quests. I think he's called like Maniac Pete, and he can drop literally the best gun in the game. Best game gun in the game. The double penetrating unkept herald. So keep an eye out, young man. All right, we gotta go in here though. We can't drive. It's too wide. Try. You flex those sleeves off or rip them off during a rant. I ripped them off during a rant. But I was chill. It was a chill rant. You scaggy beat grinder. Yo, my wife is hot. What up, buddy? Thanks for being here. But do continue. I'll continue gauge because she was my most recent. I just did the Ninja Turtles thing. You should do that. I want to see you come to the end of this playthrough since you're about to get the super edition of Borderlands 3. You owe it to yourself, Rakers. Save this man. Save Corporal Reese. Alright, this quote right here. Don't ruin this moment. Wake me up when I'm not on Pandora anymore. <laughs> Reese is dead. Thanks. He was one of the first Crimson Lancemen recruited to the movies. Get that power core back, and while you're at it, kill some bandits. <clears throat> was Leg Day not my favorite? Uh, was Leg Day not my favorite? I don't know what you're talking about, wife. You talking about Leg Day? My Leg Day? All right, I'm gonna do a humble brag. I guess you're gonna make me do a humble brag. If you're talking about leg day, dog, I leg day. I leg day, all right? I know how to leg day. That doesn't have anything to do with my legs, but I leg day, dog. Band. <clears throat> oh, it was like at your gym. I thought you were like calling me out or something. But GG, man, that's always the hard one. Well done, wife. Well done, my friend. Hashtag band. <clears throat> What'd you say, Tucker? Um, he's slowly but surely rising to heaven, where he belongs, after suffering on this planet. Or was until I took a fatty to the gut. A <laughs> fatty to the gut. You go to a gym? Not really. I just got free weights. 
But I mean, I played sports all my life, and then I I got into bodybuilding when I was in high school. I actually won a teenage show and some competed a few times. I don't do it anymore. I do powerlifting now, but but I learned a lot about it. So that's why I can you know, do things, and I'm addicted to it. I literally base my most of my life and days value on it because of, I'm addicted. <clears throat> but I'd say it's a positive addiction. <laughs> Still your Roku. Dude, my audio sucks, man. I can't get it straight anymore. It frustrates the shit out of me. That reload's terrible. Oh, I shouldn't let you have him, my bad. That's the power core. Duck, I kept pressing X. I don't know, buddy. I'm sorry. I kept trying. I don't know why I didn't go. That's not good. I keep kind of, I'm, I'm forgetting, I'll get used to it eventually, just how differently this plays than Borderlands, uh, one. I'm just going to gym for a six pack. Uh, thanks wife. <clears throat> I appreciate that, man. Yeah, hope you had a good workout. How was your leg day, wife? Actually, I'm, yeah, Jacobs, Fat Scarab, hell yeah. Love these Jacobs assault rifles. They become completely and utterly useless later on. You can't even touch them. They're not even remotely in the meta. But why are they? Why you can still use them? Use them. They got a freaking cool model too. This one doesn't actually have the spin barrel, but those are the best. Hey, Tucker, where are you? Oh, there you are. Come on, Tucker. I need you. Don't forget you got a turret. Did you get all the power cores? Oh, we gotta <clears throat> kill three more blood shots. <laughs> He's dead. Through no work of our own whatsoever. It's good. I'm focused on technique, so like, not using my back, just legs. And my legs are shaking. You'll get better and better and better, man. Honestly, body weight squats can help. Just keep practicing the form. Thank you. Where the hell are these guys? Oh, there they are. They're down below us. Keep forgetting I got a single fire this rifle. Nice kill. Nice job, Tuck. Vamanos! Oh crap, I killed myself. I might be able to get it. Thanks for the thought, Tucker. How important is diet in relation to your lifting? I eat whatever I want, but hit the gym hard. 
at least 70%, <laughs> at least 70% of its diet. <clears throat> but I mean, if you're like powerlifting, if you're just going for strength and just eat a bunch, dude, just eat a lot of protein, two grams of protein per body weight, always try to have some kind of vegetables. If you're going for looks and for bodybuilding, then it's 70, 80% of it is diet. You can do kind of the bare minimum with bodybuilding. You just, you know, you just follow the science of it, follow a fairly strict regimen, and you eat right. It's all about eating. <clears throat> Which is why I quit bodybuilding. Not just the diet thing, but it's also subjective and kind of weird. And I just powerlifting is so much more fun, and it, it actually, you know, has cross purposes. Like you go out and you do a hard manual job, you can actually kick ass at it because you're, you're physically actually strong. Whereas when I say I was training for bodybuilding when I was younger, my dad used to be able to kick my ass basically at work. He had a paunch. You know, and like 15 inch arms or something, and I'm sitting here with like 18 inch arms and a perfect diet and six back abs, and yet he could kick my ass at work. And I was really frustrated by that. I was also really frustrated that it's all subjective. There's not like, you know, a football game. It's not a, you don't score a touchdown. It's just how do you look? You didn't ask for that ramp, but I gave it to you. So thanks for letting me be self indulgent. Appreciate it. All right, sucker. See you soon. But bodybuilding makes you look good, and that's fun, and that's a huge confidence boost. And uh, you can you can still be strong and do it, but when I was younger, definitely, I just didn't like it. I didn't like that feeling. But I, like I said, I want to show. It was a huge it was a huge part of my life when I was younger, actually. Huge part of my life. Bro, always appreciate the insights, that's why I come here. Thank you, wife. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I was watching Cincinnati and the Indians play yesterday. I think we, both teams were blowing it after you told me about the trade. They were talking about the trade all day, too. Must be a big, big story. Still gonna kill you, though. Hey, you like my speech? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend a long time torturing you, Dan. It's gonna be bad. Why does he hate us so much <clears throat> from moment one? There is like a reason for it, actually. It's a pretty good, and it's something like he already, he knew we were going to kill him. He knew that we just weren't, he was not strong enough to, to match us. It was kind of inevitable. Something like that. That was weird. Oh, it's the vault hunter. Get it quick. Roland's echo communicator went dead. We need your help. Oh, it's the vault hunter. Get in quick. All right. Coming. Wait. I think we need to drive. I'm pretty sure it's like pretty long. It's this really big, long, empty section. Not big, too big, but it's it is empty. It's empty enough you got to drive. Sort of strange. <clears throat> that changes later when it's floating, though, of course. That's best sanctuary. Floating sanctuary is best sanctuary because it's what sanctuary needs to be. Just the city. Dude, it's still trending on, on Twitter, number one, that he went over to Mixer. Like, this is a big, big story. I'm surprised he didn't just, like, start today, though. I, like, season 10 launched today. I'm surprised he's not on Mixer as we speak streaming. He's gonna wait a couple days. Mixer.com forward slash ninja. That's so weird. It's so strange seeing that. <clears throat> Uh, did you ever beat the one boss where you run around in a circle, but he can insta-kill you with poison? I repeat? Uh, oh, I know you, Master G. Yeah, I've, I've beat Master G. Yeah, he's fun. He, he's good because he's, like, you know, mechanic-driven. It's not just about, like, you have to have this extremely specific set of equipment and then do enough damage and get kind of lucky. <coughs> Excuse me. God almighty. That, uh... Your game, you know, that they don't do something stupid to insta-give you. Yeah, that one's cool. That one's cool, man. Roku 44 Canadian. Buy it. There you go. You're going to have your Xbox One back. You're going to have your Xbox One back. Hell yeah, bro. 
Hell yeah, you deserve it, Rikers. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna watch you do your Borderlands playthrough. I'm looking forward to this. I want to see you finish this before Borderlands 3. you got 44 days, 43 days, something, something like that. Yes! 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 Dude, this is why the Crimson Lands failed. Like, it's two guys. This was the, and this is Borderlands 2. Like, these guys die. So they're down to not even this dude by Borderlands 3 times. Jimmy Jenkins, which is a real thing in this game. You actually can run into Jimmy Jenkins. It is super, super rare. And he drops great loot. Crap is just as much of a curse as darn is. Come on, what is that? Crap. I mean, darn. It's the same thing. Instead of saying damn, you're saying darn. Instead of saying shit, you're saying crap. I love this game for all that shit. <laughs> What a strange man. That becomes a quest later on that I, I feel like I've never quite gotten right. This is a murder mystery that ends up popping up in town. You gotta and you gotta resolve it. It's kinda weird, but it's also neat. Moxie's bar! I just got done with your terrible underdome, Moxie. Moxie's in her assets. Now the last refuge for thieves, murderers, and outcasts. I love Welcome the vending machines. This was such a good addition. I don't know how many hours I've lost throughout my life. Just spamming the vending machine. <coughs> Hoping for a legendary. Airblock, what are you doing in town? Addiction. Gambling addiction, yes. That's it, too. Symbiosis. Uh, I think this is where we named the Bully Mogs. What is that? Oh, yeah. They're getting shot by the Hyperion base. The shields to hold out. Is Tucker back? Tucker, you're back? Oh, hey, welcome back. Why do you sound so like... Oh. <laughs> hey, change, change your skin in your head. Oh, okay. There you go. You can change your build, your skin, your head. <laughs> this guy, yeah, he's so pumped. Oh yeah, and of course, the sanctuary citizens just randomly bang on stuff all day. It's so strange. So <laughs> the gambling addiction starts in Borderlands, and they snoop around. It's so weird. Is this like a hit on Oblivion? Like, hey, we can do radiant AI. There we go, and we'll make it purposely stupid. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. Oh, Marcus, you crazy bastard. He apparently makes a deal with Tannis. A deal with the devil. Because Tannis is not what she seems, after all. Hey, oh, yeah, blue. Tucker, I have a gift for you. Follow me. Hey, sweet, you look cool. I'll see you in the firing range. Let's try out the fire weapon first, huh? <laughs> Go for it. <clears throat> They'll last us all of two levels with this exponential scaling, but who cares? You're welcome. They nada. I'll open some more after we do this quest. If you can hear this, and you're sane enough to understand what I'm saying, head to sanctuary. I don't care what Jack has told you, or how well defended you think you are. This is basically already inferring that it's a, like a disease, because if you read up on the lore on the Borderlands VIP website, what they say is that the bandits are like an inexplicable hive that have, have spread across the galaxy and in the, in the system without explanation. Imperialist. 
There's something really special about this quest, and there's a reason you're not supposed to finish it, but I think it just involves power leveling, and I don't care about that. I think it also involves keeping that weapon around because that weapon technically has a bunch of like special assets to it. Tiger, you should sell these. Make some money, man. Hey, you have a freaking Jacob shotgun? These are the best. <clears throat> hey, really good shields up here, dude. I'm gonna grab this thing first, though. It's not letting you what? It's weird. Not have any guns to sell, or... Yep. Alright, right, there's a really good shield up top for you. Holding the key chest. I'm gonna go talk to Scooter. Get your run. Golden key chest. Golden key chest. In there. Hey, okay, grab it and I'll open you another one. It's crazy you can just buy 3D printers now. You should sell this stuff. Money. <clears throat> Alright, let's open another one. Ooh. Nice. Over here. Some more guns over there. So I have like 200 keys, so <clears throat> I'll just open a bunch of them. But let's go level some more before we open any more. Don't use it. I'll start getting you more keys. I have your gift shipped account. Extreme goals for business are bones, five Kickstarter, airbrush compressor, 3D printer. Nice. That's crazy. You can just buy a 3D printer, dude. That's so cool. Is reset your house or playing online? Tucker? Tucker's here. He's just chilling out. Tucker, say hi to wife. Hi. There you go. <laughs> he thinks we're a robot, Tucker. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's metal. I'm researching and planning for one. It's so cool. You ain't no Hyperion robot. It's like a unicorn. Like a unicorn. <laughs> That's fortress. <laughs> opportunity. There'll be plenty of drama at opportunity. It'll be cool. That's why I said Reese. That's right, all good. I don't, I don't sweat the small stuff. Try not to. <clears throat> yeah, he's chilling with me. He needs a good mic, too. Hey, Iridium. I like your character, though, Tucker. You did a good job decorating him. Dude, you need to... Is that still the freaking gearbox gun? Dude, you need to change your guns up, Tucker. Holy crap. That thing's level one. <clears throat> that Jacob shotgun right there is actually really good. But you also have purple, so we just gave you. Right, but it's only going to be level one now. <clears throat> this game has so-called exponential scaling, so you want to keep changing your guns pretty often. There's this Jacob scatter gun's really good, and then you got all those purples. Alright, Earl, voiced by Randy Pitchford. What do you want? Eat Skag and die. Negative. But Scooter, uh, Scooter ends up having kind of a tragic ending. Let's see. I'm not gonna spoil it. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna turn you in. You're our only hope of stopping Jack. How late am I streaming? Oh, I wanted to stream later tonight. I definitely, I want to get, I want to try to get to the point where Sanctuary is floating. And if Tyrell comes around later, I'm gonna play some Apex with him or a little more Borderlands too. Oh yeah, we gotta install the fuel cells.
He's the one. That's the twist. <laughs> you were the chosen one, Scooter. Roland said we gotta have an exit strategy just in case you ever strategy. It's a George Bushism. Dude, I should probably reset my OBS, but I'm not gonna. Blood. Listen. Roland? Catch you later, man. Peace, sirens. Are sweet. <clears throat> my wife is out. You have a good day. You have a great day. You have a fantastic day. You have a fabulous day. You have a superior day. You have a great day. You have a good day. Later, wife. What did you say, Tuck? Oh, we just gotta buy anything from Crazy Girl. Right. Any, anything. I got it. We're good. What'd you ask earlier, though, about Borderlands 3? Tucker. Tucker says, get your red! What'd you ask about Borderlands 3 earlier? Just a moment ago, you asked about. It's not out yet. It's, it's the one coming up, though. What are you talking about? Borderlands... There is no sequel, Tucker, because Borderlands 3 isn't even out yet. How could you have a sequel to a game that doesn't even exist yet? We're playing Borderlands 2. We just got done playing Borderlands 1. There's Borderlands the pre-sequel, which is like Borderlands 1.5. And then with Borderlands 3, the one with the mech, that you're going to play the mech, you know? Right? You're going to play Iron Bear? Oh, okay. That's Borderlands 3. Free sequel? I think it came out in 2014. 2012. Came out in 2012. That's the copyright. You gotta renew the copyright. And this is the handsome edition. It came out in. Hey, we have a third weapon slot. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. This chest back here, Tucker, you work the entire game to try to open this chest, and it has, like, nothing in it. It's random, but it should have been guaranteed legendaries. <clears throat> I think I've got some low-level legendaries, speaking of, just sitting around. Out of my way, Tucker. Alright, be that way. This is the Firehawk. Of the Fosbury. The Firehawk. Cool plot twist with this character. Firehawk! 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 He's in deep! Duck's gonna smack a duck. I broke through your defenses. Which says pretty good nade. Ooh, wee! Ah. <clears throat> so, Tucker, what we're going to do is we're going to end up trying to reorganize all the original Vault Hunters here in town. Not much longer now. Oh, what? This is a funny quest. <laughs> minion. <laughs> we're his minion. This is all you, Tucker. This is all you, buddy. 